Hi guys, welcome to Without a Clue Wargaming. Got uh, another unboxing here, or unbagging, should I say, here for you, um, of the Iron Circle. Uh, relatively new models. Um, I'm not quite sure, if you sit read there, it says Chaos Space Marines. There might be a misprint on there, but it's an Iron Circle Domitar. Um, I saw these at Forge World. The models themselves are actually really, really huge. They're really, really tall, but uh, yeah, anyway, let's just crack on with it. So, first up, we have the instruction booklet. That's what these guys look like. You've got the big Graviton Maul, uh, the Battle Shield, and then they have the Olympia Bolt Cannon up on top. Um, by the looks of it, it looks like these guys are really poseable. But, um, yeah, no, Forge World have done a really good job with these uh, these new instructions, um, detailing every single part in, in green on what part you're currently working on. And then there's a painting, painting model there. Uh, that's roughly what I'm going to do mine like as well. But, um, yeah, good job, uh, Forge World, on the uh, on the new instructions. Um, next up, we've got this little box inside. Oh, it's got the basically like a cod piece almost, and then there's the top carapace that goes over the head. There's some pipes in that in there. There's ammo feed for the uh, bolt cannon and then you've got the shaft and the actual head for the hammer in this box um, I'm not going to open the this up yet it's all sealed because um, I don't want to lose any of the bits but you get you can get a rough idea on on what's in there um, the hammer I think you're supposed to cut the length because I end up with a really long hammer and it's just going to be awful uh, 60 mil base and then we've got all the resin bits itself. Now you've got the face, got a tiny piece. Get out of focus. There you go. It's quite a nice little face. Uh, excuse the paint on my hands, I've been painting all day today. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. You've got the actual body of the uh, yarn circle itself really big pieces I mean I've got huge hands I mean so my hands make everything look tiny but yeah that's quite a, quite a nice piece you've got the shield itself I mean look there's the body there's the shield the shields absolutely massive so I'm uh, gonna do some hazard stripes on this um, you've got the shoulder pads nice big shoulder pads quite nice as well You've got, I think this might be the, that's uh, one of the legs, I think. Yeah, two legs. Uh, really nice cast, these. Every, everything I've had from Forge so far has been pretty good, and uh, yeah, there's no, no bubbles or anything in there. Uh, what have we got here? I've got some pistons. I'm um, not quite sure where they go, but. I've got a bolt cannon, and the. Uh, I think this is the shield hand. Um, the shield actually mounts onto the wrist. It doesn't hold it. And you've got the uh, the bolt cannon on this one as well. Got some. Oh, the head was attached to this piece, but it broke off in the bag. So I've just showed you it loosely. Uh, some other bits there. Oh, there's the little Iron Warriors symbol on that piece. And you got the shoulder joints. Um, just ball socket joints fit nicely into the body, so it looks like it's going to be really, really po poseable. So, and uh, some elbow joints, really good. And you've got the feet, really detailed, going to look really good. Tempted to put these like standing over a load of dead space marines. Um, and then you've got the thigh pieces, and uh, yeah, so. That's what they look like, all built out of all these pieces. There's not too many pieces. Um, I mean, that's them all, all over here. But yeah, last model. I picked up two of these. I need to get another two to actually run them with Perturablo because you need four minimum if you want to run, it, run them with Perturablo. Um, but yeah, I think you can run. Let's have a quick look at the rules. Yeah, you, uh, an independent character can join these guys. So I'm running a squad of two in uh, Zone Mortalis, and I'll be running these with. Um, Golg, um, just for fun, 
just because they're awesome models and uh, it'd be a nice little killer unit. But yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. See you later.